Meanwhile, Donald Trump wasting no time trying to cash in on the Colorado ballot ruling. He is now selling digital trading cards for forty for ninety-nine dollars, branding it the mugshot edition. David Avella joins us now. David, how much money do you think? I mean, putting the cards aside for a minute, but from donors, how much can he generate from this Colorado decision? Well, we've seen the President Trump's campaign be able to monetize much of this. Uh, 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 Law I think that it's these fair to call it. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, against him, but you know, David, as we see this uh, Supreme Court now taking uh, potentially taking up this case, what Americans need is a 9-0 ruling to send a clear message uh, on this. That as a country, and uh, the legal experts and scholars can debate the merits, uh, but what Americans need is a clear ruling because you can't have half the country believe the system is being used for political gain and anything short of a definitive ruling by the Supreme Court will leave lots of doubts in people's mind and only further undermine our political system. Yeah, I agree. It should be unanimous. By the way, beyond money, uh, what about Trump's coattails? Are they getting longer and stronger as these decisions come in, these unpopular decisions come in? And will that help congressional and Senate races in 2024? Well, you look at the numbers, David. I mean, clearly the base of the Republican Party continue to solidify behind uh, the former president. And even your those Republicans who might be willing to consider someone else, when you have rulings like this, it's not seen just as an attack on President Trump. It's seen as an attack on them as well, on the Republican Party as well. And so it does help solidify. Now, does that turn out to election results? We're going to find out. Will, will they, in fact, then go vote on Election Day, those uh, more persuadable Republicans? Uh, it, Early indications are that is going to happen. Hmm. Um, but as you get ready for November next year, it's still ultimately going to come down to where do independent voters ultimately go. And that's why we're going to need this campaign. But yeah. if you're President Biden, uh, you certainly don't have much of a message to send to vote to independents that you've made their life better. By the way, uh, California apparently is now considering removing Trump uh, from the ballot as well. Uh, if if they try to do that, will will they wait for the Supreme Court decision? Do you think? And and will other blue states wait for the Supreme Court decision, or will they try to to jump in now uh, and get something in before the decision? Well, in California, you never know what they're willing to do <laughs> to true. speed up the process, whether it's follow the rules or not. Uh, as we have seen in that state time after time. That said, uh, the Supreme Court has the ultimate say on it, whether they rule yeah. this week, next week, or a month from now. Uh, they will have the final say on this. And uh, again, w however the ruling comes out, it me needs to be definitive. 9-0 is perfect. Uh, it would be a disaster if we get a 4-3 ruling. All right. Well, the sooner the better, that's for sure. David Avella, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good to see you.